Today I'm talking to the members of the, of the Wednesday Conversational Cafe on the question, who inspired you during your recovery? Don, why don't we start with you? Don, can you tell me how long it's been uh, in terms of your recovery? Um, I have been uh, recovering for uh, five to six years, and I didn't speak at all, and I am speaking uh, uh, clearly, and I believe that I will go on with uh, aphasia, and I feel I am going to have um, more speech. My wife has uh, done inspiration for me, and uh, Jody was there in the very beginning, and she has been here always, and she had to uh, be um, inspirational in the beginning because I was totally dependent on my wife. Yes. My uh, doctor uh, said, you know, uh, he might not talk, and he was in the room so I could hear it, and I knew I was going to talk again. I'm, uh, well, I had an image from God and I knew I was either going to die. I saw this white light and I was literally over the bed and uh, he said that it's okay if you come to me or you go back to earth. And I somehow knew that if I went back to earth, I would speak again. Very good. So I think in two words you could say, I believe. Yes, I believe. Okay. So, Laura, my question then is, tell me a little bit about your background. Um, how long has your recovery been? Seven years. Wow, it's a long time. Mm -hmm. Can you tell I, perhaps a little about what happened? Yeah. Um, I hit by a truck driver. Um, so. And were you in school at that time? Yes. Okay, and I feel like you're working very hard to get your recovery completely back, right? Yeah, so what is it that you want to do? I'm going to back to school. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Who has inspired you the most during your recovery? Gibber. I don't know. Uh, um, I, I forgot her name myself. <laughs> Gabby? Yes. Yeah. Gifford. Gifford, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and why does she uh, inspire you so much? Um, I don't know. Um, She's worked very hard, right? Yeah. I mean, she was a very successful uh, congresswoman before, her, before, before she was uh, hit by the, the, the bullet. Right, mm -hmm. and she's still working very hard on her recovery, just like you are. Right? Yeah. 
So I think you're the person who's giving inspiration to other people as well, right? <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Um, first of all, um, I um, I am um, um, if eight years ago I have a, a bleed in the vein. Yeah, you had a bleed in the brain, like an AVM? Yeah. Okay. And what did you do before your stroke, before the AVM? Um, commercial real estate. Yeah, so it was a very busy environment there. Yeah. Okay. And do you think at some point you may get back to work? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. What keeps you going? Um, hope and play. Um, my wife is um is um is no is no one less, but it's it's the reason for me. Mm -hmm. And then um, I I go I go to um H, mm -hmm. and then um. Hospital service, and then um, she said, "Don't quit." Laura, oh, I forgot to ask you that same question. Is there a particular uh, um, motto that you live by as well? Never give up. So, Doug, um, tell me a little bit about what happened with your stroke and your and your aphasia. How long ago was your stroke, Doug? About three. Years. Okay. Three and a half years. So it's three and a half years ago, yes. right? Yes. And is it your wife that's been your your main inspiration? About one thing about your wife, Rebecca. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. one thing that she does that she, inspires you? Well, she she takes a long time. Uh, She takes a long time to what to listen to you. Yes. Ah, is that important? Oh yes. Yeah. Why is that so important for you? Uh, well, she's not all here times day, not here at times day, but she's always here. So it sounds to me like you have a you and uh, Rebecca have a very loving relationship, right? Yes. Do you do you think that's really helped you in terms of your recovery? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, Doug, do you have uh, do you have a, a saying or, or or a model that you live by for your recovery? Hmm. So Laura said never give up. Uh, uh, Gil said basically the same. Uh, Don said, I believe. Yeah. Um, yes, something to that effect. Do you have hope? Yeah, hope. Okay. Ah, so your, your, your model might be, I have hope. I have hope, yes. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for this video, for this interview.